Right, welcome back. This is day 46. And um, if you've ever seen the film Groundhog Day, it's very similar to, to doing a case study with Mali Gen Secret or any sort of case study, very similar in that we're doing the same thing every single day. The only difference is we're making sales and the numbers are going up every single day, so that's good. Um, but it is very, very similar. So if you're watching this case study, uh, if you're following along every single day, then welcome back. Uh, now it's time to take action and do something for yourself. Get your, get your accounts uh, and start doing the same sort of thing. So we're currently on day 46. Um, if this is the first time you visit the channel, if this is the first time you've seen my videos, hit the subscribe button. And also, if you can give it a like as well, it really goes a long way. Uh, and let me tell you, it helps more than you really know. So I can keep doing these videos and keep putting this information together. So currently, what we're doing is we're promoting ClickBank products using the My Lead Gen Secret email marketing platform. And it works really simple. It's really simple, very straightforward. The takeaways I will give you from it is that it builds your skills and knowledge in email marketing, which you can transfer to anything online. Um, it will give you an income, okay? It will build up over time um, if you are consistent, okay? And that's the big takeaway. Uh, so here we are. Here's ClickBank. This is my account, okay? Currently 19 sales uh, since the 1st of Jan. A conversion rate has remained around 8.5%, and I think that's kind of where we are right now. It'd be nice to see that increase. Um, and the currently gross earnings at 383.16. Let me just show you something here. Let me go to dashboard. Because I said before, uh, at the beginning of this case study, it'd be nice to see the sales come in regularly, to see sales every other day, to see them increase, um, and then to see kind of like from here, look, I was starting to get back-to-back -back sales and and what I wanted was back-to-back -back sales and then multiple sales and that hasn't happened yet and so we need to kind of look at why it hasn't happened and start to refine the process a bit better than what we are doing and it's always great when you start off saying this is going to happen and it happens okay um, but when it doesn't happen then we need to go back and say okay what's what's really going on so you can see here from the from the 4th of February we started to get some recurring some recurring sales coming in okay so we had these back-to-back -back sales then we had a, a day of no sales then three and a one and we've got two and a one so I'm, I'm kind of assuming Friday so we may well get a sale tomorrow it looks like it's, it's looking good for a sale tomorrow but what I want I want back to balance sales every day and it might take a little bit longer to get that. Okay, but this is this is sometimes a thought process that you go through when you're doing this sort of thing online, is that you have an expectation, and if those expectations aren't met, you can sometimes get a little bit off put, a little bit sidetracked. Okay, why isn't it happening? Why is it? Why are we not getting multiple sales every day? Uh, is it me? Is it you know? Is the system not really working as well? And we're getting sales, as you can see, the sales are coming in. Um, so we're gonna have to refine the process and just have a look. Um, at that but so that was my first initial sort of thought today I came in logged in I thought yeah okay uh, could do better all right so that's really where we are with that so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the affiliate marketplace and I'm promoting the same product for the first quarter because this product does have a recurring revenue attached to it and that's that's really really important it's this live chat jobs okay we're gonna go on to uh, promote We'll get our a link in the usual way and the tracking ID one one ml and then sixteen oh two or even eighteen oh two. Got one of these light up dash one of these light up keyboards, it's rubbish, you can't see it. Don't get one of those. Right, create hop link. Right, so we're gonna copy that. We're gonna go over to our notepad and we're just gonna paste that. Paste that link in there. There we go. There's a link, and the tracking ID is there. And we're going to change that for every different account that we've got. So, talking of accounts, let me show you My Lead Gen Secret. If you're not familiar with My Lead Gen Secret, let me tell you, it solves one of the biggest problems most people have. Problems people have online. People don't have enough leads. Okay, and it, it there is a cost acquisition process um, to get leads online, and um, it can be technical. It can be frustrating. Um, but essentially, My Lead Gen Secret gives you a hundred co-registration leads within the BizOp niche every single day, and those leads, those hundred leads, accumulate in your account, and you can email those leads anything you want, okay? Uh, every single day, every twenty-three hours. 
Um, now, Marley Den Secret also has an affiliate program, so if you refer some of those leads to the program and they sign up, you'll get 100 bonus leads in addition to your 100. So you'll be getting 200 leads every single day. Um, and Marley Den Secret will also pay you $5 commissions per month on an ongoing basis for everyone that keeps uh, their membership up. And that is payable to five levels deep as well. So talking about five levels deep, I started with one account, and uh, I, it was about four and, four and three quarter years ago. Uh, I built it up, 200 leads every single day, and then what I realized was that I could then uh, stack my accounts together. I could link all my accounts together. Okay, so I get number one account, so if I go to home, okay, you can see there is my affiliate link. Okay, so I can copy that link, paste it in, and join under my own affiliate link because Miley Gen Secret allow you to do that. And I've done that five times. So I've got five accounts with the bonus leads of 200 leads coming in every single day. So 1,000 leads a day, plus I also get paid the affiliate commissions um, because I'm, I've referred myself. And I've also referred hundreds of other people um, into all the different accounts. So it works really well. And obviously the more leads you've got, the better chance you've got of success of getting those, those early sales. However, it pales into insignificance when you um, have consistency. You've got to be consistent. There are people who've got one account, they're consistent, they do it every single day, they do extremely well. There's some people with 10 accounts, not particularly consistent, and don't really make it work. Okay, so that is the ultimate takeaway, is be consistent. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the e-business. No, we we're already there. Okay, we're going to go to the affiliate page on ClickBank. So first thing, get your Miley Gen Secret account. And secondly, get a ClickBank account. In terms of Miley Gen Secret, what I recommend you do is get, if you're gonna do this strategy, get three accounts. Okay, now three accounts, it'll cost you $30 a month per account, and the first uh, the first month will cost you $60. Okay, so uh, $180 for the first month, and then $90 per month thereafter. And you'll be getting 200 leads, or you'll be getting 300 leads, um, no, 500. You'll be getting 500 leads a day without the bonus leads on the on the last account um, with three accounts. Okay, so you'll be getting some good leverage. Um, but I always say, you know, get as many accounts as you can afford. Never never put yourself in a in a position where you're vulnerable financially because you won't sustain it for the long term. Okay, you'll always be thinking about sales rather than increasing your your skills. Okay, so that's a really important thing. Right, so we've got uh, we've got all that. That's all done. Okay, so we we'll go to the affiliate page. I'm going to go to the email swipes, and we're going to go to email seven because that's where we are today. And we're just going to copy. These are all the the copy that you get from ClickBank. Okay, I'm going to copy that in. I'm going to go to Mali Gen Secret. I'm going to go to mailing system. <clears throat> okay, so you can see a look. These have built up over the last few years and I've currently got 315,800 leads. In this account, I can only email to the first 200,000 because that's the limitations of the servers. That's, uh, that's I've just got to live with that. All right, so we've got saved emails. I'm going to load in yesterday's email because it keeps all the formatting. And as you can see, my formatting is such where I've got the font size is 16. Um, font size is 16. I've got my images in there, my socials, my PS line, which brings people back to Miley Ten Secret. And that's it, it's real simple. Okay, well that's that's kind of what you want to do is is just have something that kind of works for you and works with your brand. Okay, so that's the email pasted in. I'm gonna put that onto size 16. And I'm gonna come here and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay, so we're gonna copy this, paste it in four times. There we go. So what we want to do is because we're sending these emails to co-registration leads, essentially they go, okay, what's in it for me? Why is he sending me an email and what's in it for me? Okay, so we need to make that apparent as quickly as we can. So we want short and condensed emails. So we want to try and keep the text within the parameters of these numbers and keep it condensed. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Let's read it through. So who wouldn't want to join the largest social network in the world? All right. So that what what this is doing this is this is talking about having a job working alongside people who've got Facebook accounts and doing admin jobs um, or chat uh, chat assistants with with Facebook. So that's okay, but this way where it says who wouldn't, okay, it's a negative connotation already. 
So who wouldn't want to join the largest social network in the world? It doesn't really make any sense, okay? And it's negative as well. So we'll just I'll work on that. Um, so the whole point of Facebook is to talk and interact with people in other ways. That doesn't mean anything either. Okay, we had an idea for Messenger where we could create a space for conversations and interactions in a different way. That whole paragraph is absolute just a waste of just a waste of text. Really is. Okay, it doesn't mean anything. It's almost like you, when you read these job descriptions, you know, for a for a technical analysis, um, technical supervising production manager, you know, for a cleaner. It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we'll just we'll come back to that as well. So if you're looking for an entry level job, look no further. We're looking for reliable Facebook chat assistants who have 20 hours of work. So that's simple. That's straightforward. People will look at that and read it and go, all right, I get what you're looking at. But when you look at this, that they're going, what the hell does this mean? This makes no sense at all. Okay, and what's what's the likelihood of them going click? Let's go back to watching cat videos, right? So you've got to be careful of this. Okay, so let me just. Uh, So what you what you really want in the first in the first paragraph is either some kind of introduction for yourself. So this is where you can brand you and you can sort of uh, let people know, like and trust who you are. So even though the co-registration leads, they still need to know, like and trust who you are. So when they get an email from you, they'll go, oh, it's from from John. Oh, it's from Dave. Oh, it's from Anne. Uh, let's have a look. OK, so in today's email, I'm going to show you how you can become a Facebook chat assistant or cat assistant even. Um, and I want to see if there's any. Let me just go back to the page because the obvious hook as well is okay, 30 an hour. Inning 30. rubbish I'm going to take that out uh, so if you're looking for an entry level job look no further okay so you might be asking yourself what does your job entail Join your shift, your responsibilities will be to answer any questions via chat. As a live chat assistant, your goal will be to answer questions from customers quickly and accurately. We will train you on how to carry out this ta this task we will train you The start of your shift, you will log into the Facebook Messenger account and answer questions that come via chat. And you're looking for oh, okay, well, that's that seems okay. Just 
grab those numbers. Okay. So when you get when you get uh, text or or any sort of copy, anything that's written where it's slightly ambiguous or you try and be too clever, it's never going to work. And what you need to do when you're writing emails, particularly to this type of audience where they don't really know who you are yet, um, you need to keep it real simple. And the kind of the language you want to be giving is. Write it as though you're writing to like a ten year old kid. Okay. Nothing nothing too grandiose. Okay, so those previous uh, previous paragraphs that we removed, they were they just didn't mean anything. They were just rubbish. Okay, so we took them out. Okay, so now it's just a case of real simple, straightforward. So you might be asking yourself, what does this job entail? Uh, during your shift, your responsibilities will be to answer questions via chat messenger. As a live chat assistant, your goal will be to answer questions from customers quickly and accurately. It's just real simple, you know what I mean? And also, like I said, it, it gives a flow. You've got this uh, this circular flow of, of words which you know leads to the next paragraph and ultimately down to the call to action. So talking about the call to action, we're going to copy, copy this, the link. So I'm going to go to there, paste that in. There we go. So tracking ID is there. Uh, in fact, what I want to do, I want to put one A because I've started to just track the the first the first line, the the, the the call to action at the top, and also the call to action at the bottom. So I want to find out which one is most effective. That's one. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So looking at that, that looks okay. It's a nice, nice looking email. Again, keep it condensed and short. Uh, people are going to more like to read it and there's a slightly bigger gap in there um, so yeah we're good to go let's have a quick look let's go and preview it all right preview that boy click on there just again just whenever you've before you're going to send an email always check it yourself that's the page that we've been promoting um, so we're going to come out of that and we'll come out of there so we need to Facebook chat assistant. I'll do. All right. Perfect timing. I was going to preview it again just to make sure it looks okay. Okay, good. Right, good. Uh, send email. Right, so source. So I'm just going to copy all that source code into my notepad. And we'll copy the subject line. There we go. There it is. There's your subject line. There's all your source code. All you do is click anywhere. Okay, you just go Control A and then press C. That copies it all to the clipboard. And this is the quickest way to do it when you've got multiple accounts. So I'm going to log out. I'm going to go into my account number two. Mailing system. Select all the leads. Right click on the subject, paste that in. And go source, control A, V. Onto there, what are we on? Number two. So it's 2A. And on there, just change that one for two. 
perfect timing. Send email. Good. And I've got five accounts, so I'm just going to repeat this process five times. And what we'll do, we'll go back, have a look at ClickBank, see if we've had any more sales come in. And that's us done. Like I said, you know, you if you take up if you look at the skills that you're developing with this, this might seem really simple. Um, and you know, if you go and do lots of review videos online, you'll see a whole mixed bag of people who say some people say some people say it works, some people say it don't work, some people say it's a waste of time, some people say it's really lucrative. So it just depends on on what you want to do. But essentially what you're doing here is you you are increasing your skills with copy um, and if you can increase your skills if you can apply those apply those skills where you can make money with it and you can apply these skills into developing things like sales funnels and emails and all sorts of things um, you're going to set yourself up well for, for being a, a, a good online business owner and that's that's what these things can do they can be they can often be the catalyst to bigger to bigger things okay and I know a lot of you know the guy that introduced me to this is a seven figure marketer and he does this every every single day just forms part of his routine you know and it because it works Right, just change the link for number four. So what we'll do as well is we've now got a fairly reasonable track record of sales and of what has performed well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put together, I've actually, I've actually got it together, so I'm going to do a separate training. I'm going to show you all the emails that have produced sales and more than likely I'll make that available so if you fancy that if you fancy me putting a, a training together let me know in the comments just drop me a comment below let me know what you would like to know and um, just you know, what what uh, what has been performing the best um, Right, source. So from there, we want number five. Because even though we've done, what have we done, 19 sales? We've done 19 sales, we've got some recurring revenue coming in, but there was always room for improvement. And that's what I sort of looked at this morning when I came on and it was like, yeah, you're on 19 sales. There's, there's definitely room for improvement. Um, and this is what this is where I, I am right now in my, in my mindset. Okay, so if you're still looking to get your first sale, stick with the process, really. Just, I can't employ you enough to stay with the process and be consistent. Don't get put off um, because this is marketing. This is the way it goes, okay? we. We get a sale, we, re we find out why we got a sale, we kind of reverse engineer, okay, we got a sale from that email, so let's send similar emails, okay, and then you just carry on. Um, and the whole thing about marketing, one of the most frustrating things I found about marketing sometimes was people would say, yeah, marketing, you wanna get good at marketing, test and measure. And it was like, that's a cop out. Just give me the secrets to marketing. Tell me what I need to do. You need to test and measure. Okay, and it, what works for somebody may not work for somebody else. Okay, you may, we've done this before in you know, years gone by where we would take the same copy, the same ads, the same everything from somebody who was being successful with say Facebook ads with a certain product and copy it absolutely the same and the, the results were always inconsistent. There was never a. It's not like trading where you know you go for a trade and everything, everything, everyone wins or everyone loses or breaks even. There's always inconsistencies and there's always those subtleties and nuances with with marketing. And for you as a as a marketer, whether you're advanced or whether you're brand new, you've got to find out what works for you. Because what what happens 
And this, so the way that you get results in marketing is you resonate your personality to your audience. Okay, that's a massive thing. And we, we know, like, if you go back in time, Morse code readers in World War II, okay, just taps, all that, okay? Now, when, when people interpret that, they can interpret the mood, they can interpret what's happening with the, with the coder because that's what they tune into. And your audience is very similar Okay, they will be able to tune in to your mood, okay, based on who you are, because they're going to do some research on you. They're going to go to your Facebook profile. They'll look at you, and they'll say, "Did that person send that email?" Because there's an inco incongruency between you, your personality, and what you're telling me in this email. Okay, so the more personality you can put over, the more you can brand yourself, and the more you talk like yourself. Okay, and I show you something really simple, like you know instead of saying earn some bucks okay which i don't like you can say earn some income just do whatever whatever you say in normal conversation is that what that's what you put in your emails so it's all those little subtleties and nuances and let me tell you there is never a definitive uh solution when you're sending emails because everything that you do is individual to you the only person who knows how to send emails that are going to be effective is you by, be, by being consistent and by putting your personality into what you say, okay? So that's, that's probably the best thing I'll say about that. Right, okay, that's, the, uh, that's that. So let's go to the ClickBank. And if you're not quite sure what I mean, just, just get into the flow of it and just be, be consistent. This is why I keep saying you've got to be consistent, okay? Doesn't matter how, how many, you know, people get obsessed of... Um, how many uh, how many leads have you got? How many accounts have you got? What are you promoting? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Um, it makes no difference because ultimately, if you're not consistent, you're not going to learn your trade, and uh, that's that's where the magic happens. Right. So we're still on 19 sales. I always think one day we're going to refresh this and it'll go up. We'll go up one or two sales. That'd be nice. Okay. So yeah, 8,939 hops. 220 impressions, 19 sales, 8.64% conversion rate, which is the average 8.5, and 383.16. Anyway, so there we go. So if you have any questions, please, by all means, reach out to me. Put a comment below um, with any questions that you've got. And uh, if you want to get started with this, just go to the description below, click the link, and get signed up for your first account. As I always say, you can either sign up for three accounts, which is what I recommend if you're going to do this strategy, or if you're kind of not quite sure and you don't really know what to do, just start one account. Just get, just get something going. Because, you know, the quicker you get going, the quicker your leads build up in your account, and the more people you're going to have to, to email to. So go and do that. If you're not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and also give it a like on this or any of the videos on this case study or on my channel. Um, I talk about all kinds of things on this on this channel, as you, as you can probably see. So... Uh, yeah, reach out to me. I always answer my my uh, my comments, any questions that come in. And also, there's my text number along here as well, so you can text that number. Don't ring it, okay? Because uh, I don't answer I don't answer the calls because my phone is always on silent, um, but I do answer the messages, okay? So send me a message. All right, I hope you enjoyed that one. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.